have one week not to just beat every single God of War game, but to 100% and platinum the games as well. There's a total of eight games in the series, starting with the original God of War on PS2 and ending with the newest installment, God of War Ragnarok on PS5. As a matter of fact, I really just wanted to compare God of War 3 Remastered to the newer titles, just to see how well that game holds up on a day-to-day -day basis. So I decided to record all of it, even when I wasn't playing or grinding, recording videos on my spare camera just to give you an insight on however I felt after every game completion. On a serious note, I don't recommend anyone ever try this at home. I was actually playing God of War games for at least 10 to 15 hours a day, praying to Zeus that things went my way. This is seriously unhealthy and I do not recommend it. And for some dumbass reason, I decided to set up a one week timer to remind me that every second of the hour is more important than breathing. I honestly thought 168 hours was more than enough time to platinum eight games. And trust me, boys, I was in for a rude awakening. Now to make an already impossible challenge more unforgiving, we need to set some boundaries. Number one, every game must be platinum on the hardest difficulty. Number two, at least three of the games must be platinum on the original PS3. Number three, after every platinum, I must rank all games on a God of War tier list. And to round things off, number four, if I go over the time limit in any type of way, the challenge will be over and the video will end. Sounds fair enough to me. Here's God of War 1. today's video. I miss Kratos so much I haven't played any of these games in years and I definitely haven't played any of the new ones. I'm ready to play, I'm ready to play, I'm ready to play. I miss you Kratos. After sitting at the PS3 home screen for another 15 minutes, literally just enjoying the nostalgia of the OG God of War music, it was time to tackle my very first Platinum, or at least I thought. Not even 30 minutes in, I realized that somehow I've been scanned on Amazon. See what I didn't tell you was I recently bought a God of War limited edition PS3 and all of the OG games new and unboxed. This was a $600 investment for a video that already has proven to be more than I can choose. I'll play the game for 30, 40 minutes maybe then I'll get a loading screen out of nowhere and it'll never actually load anything and am i already stuck i think i'm gonna have to switch back to the playstation 5 and stream all these games i basically bought all the collection for no reason and a ps3 for no reason i think maybe it's the disc that just messed up a whole video purpose but hey whatever it is what it is after countless minutes of my time being wasted to non-stop bs i rushed played through the story of god of war one earning as many trophies as possible in my very first playthrough <laughs> Getting y'all real. Just, just a bit too long, huh? We've reached Athens. Get your things and get out. Damn, coach. Why are you grabbing your head? You getting in their reels. Get up in their reel. Yeah. Oh, trophy. I knew that trophy was coming. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was having an absolute blast going back and playing this game. I mean, it was a magical time. Even when I was struggling on the hardest difficulty, there wasn't really a time where I didn't have a nostalgic smile on my face. Mm, 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 uh, uh, uh. Let's go, Kratos. Let's go, Kratos. Let's go, Kratos. I gotta go and go up, shit. No, bro! Fucking PS5 controller made me press the <laughs> Kratos! Did I do it? I did it. Oh, I gave it to him. I thought I thought they wanted me to get it to. Let me tell you something stupid about God of War 1. I feel like it's super weird for such an old game to have a total of seven missable trophies. I can't ever in my childhood life remember any time where I would dedicate any time to trophy hunting, let alone going back and playing a game again to clean up any trophies that I missed. Ah! 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 I'm, I'm coming as fast as I possibly can, can Sugar Foot. Athens, but you must hurry. Oh, that ain't good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Spin, 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 spin. Don't let you fall. Your ass gonna fall. Man. I ain't got nothing to do with this. Ah, fuck. I didn't know where to go. If I get you this time, meet in your mouth, baby. Ah! Oh wow, this is super realistic now. <laughs> and with that act, Kratos set in motion 
the events that would lead to Let's his go. downfall. Don't leave her. Oh my gosh, Jesus. she got them titties out. That's why you save him right Enjoyed. there with them titties. Damn, Kratos. <laughs> hey, give me my last magic feather, baby girl. Stick it in your cap, baby. Now that we had just about the entire game out of the way, it was time for the final boss fight. Before we do the last two more significant trophies, complete the challenge of the gods and speed run the game to get that final platinum trophy. But we'll get into those two in just a sec. Let's go ahead and finish this boss off really quick. He's extremely easy in this game, in my true opinion. After thousands of years, Pandora's box was finally opened. The power of the gods unleashed. Still just a mortal. Every bit as weak as the day you begged me to save your life. I am not the same man you found that day. The monster you've created has returned to kill you. In your time of greatest man, need, that about 20 I haven't minutes. forgotten no, Ares. I remember how you Add him up, baby. All right, now that we're finished with our very first playthrough of the story, grabbed a few trophies, unlocked everybody's favorite section of the game, Challenge of the Gods, we can officially go ahead and knock all 10 of those out. As much as I want to show you all of that gameplay, trust me, it was hilarious. I just truly can't sit there and show everything. We have seven other games to play, and this video will be extremely long. I'll show you the hardest challenge in my true opinion, then we'll go ahead and tackle that speed run and get the very first platinum trophy. We'll move on to the next step after that. God damn, cuz nigga just swinging his little stick. Damn, this fuck. God damn, bro. Oh my god, bro. You motherfuckers just get the swing and constantly and shit. I'm supposed to stop this shit. Nine challenges down, one more to go. I really do think this is the hardest challenge out of them all. Basically, you jump onto a platform that rises over time. You have to try not to get knocked out by instantly responding enemies that can knock you over the edge in one to two hits. If you fall in any type of way, you must restart from the beginning. Seriously, though, this is the hardest challenge I've ever done in this series so far. And this is just the first game. Come on, game. Bullshit. It's about to come where they stop attacking it. Oh shit, I lied. Give me what you got. Go ahead, sorry. Man. Just the best out here. 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 We making it to the top, baby. This go right here, I think. Come on, gang. Give me some. Wait a minute, this gotta be it. This gotta be it. Oh my, oh my God, that's so hard to do, bruh. This game old as hell, who they, what kids they thought was gonna be able to beat this? What kid did they think was gonna be able to beat this when this game came out? Yes, bro. Sadly, this is one of the few God Awards where there's a mandatory secondary speed run trophy where you have to complete the entire game in under five hours. I won't waste your time with any of that footage. Just know I picked the 007 Kratos and completed the game with more than enough time to spare. Give it to me. Platinum trophy, baby. Let's go. There's one down, seven more games to go, baby. One down, seven more games to go. So this game ended up taking me 17 hours instead of the normal 12 to 15 hours, but my first playthrough was absolute trash. We all know what happened. Yeah, 17 hours in already. Let's uh, rank this game and move on to God of War 2. So for the very first game we're gonna be rating is God of War 1. I honestly would put this in the B category for not bad, but this game is the start of everything. So I'm gonna have to move it up just a little bit to A. This game crawled so the other games could walk and run. <laughs> Welcome to God of War 2. Do you see gods of Olympus? Do you need more proof than this? 
on a serious tip our hero kratos was in his absolute bag in this game well at least at the beginning until his father tricked him into infusing all his powers inside the blade of olympus then turned around and killed him with it and you actually thought you had a dead be dead it did not have to be this way my son this path is of your choosing <laughs> A choice from the gods is as useless as the gods themselves. First trophy of the day, baby. You can probably guess what's next. I played through the story reliving my childhood memories through a controller. I must say, for a 16-year-old game, it still hit me deep with excitement and nostalgia. Cut dude eye out and stole a crossbow. Lift with your knees. See, God of War 2 is all about Kratos finding out who his true father is and promising revenge on him. Release me from this torment of my life. I will release you from your life, my son but your torment is just beginning. Throughout the entire game, Athena will try to convince Kratos that revenge is never the right path. And of course, as Kratos always does, ends up killing her on mistake at the end instead of killing his father with the Blade of Olympus. Why do you sacrifice yourself? To save Olympus. I do not seek to destroy Olympus. Only Zeus. Zeus is Olympus. <laughs> he brought this to himself. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I got a trophy for being all up in Zeus's ribs. You cannot do this, Kratos! Against me, Athena. I do not want to fight you, Kratos. Daddy, is you. Let's go. Make a pillow. Another easy trophy. That was back to back. My first playthrough was out of the way, but I still needed to rerun the game to grab all the missable trophies I didn't get in my first visit. I'll just show you my favorite trophy out of the bunch since all of the others are pretty much identical in all the games. It's official, we're 90% done with the game and all we have to do is the final challenge of the gods. To tell you the truth, these challenges were piss easy in this game and they only get easier the more platinums we get. Previously it was 10 in all, but now they reduced it down to 7. I would love to show you all the challenges, but once again we have 6 more games to platinum, so here's what I felt like was the hardest challenge in the entire series of this game. Dude, bro. They just whacking this man and I ain't even worried about what I'm doing. Oh, Turn on the fucking stuff, man. I could have did this on the second try. How do I hit this nigga from a downtown? Hit this nigga with a downtown jumper. This ain't gonna work, is it? All right, let me explain this last challenge. The goal is to get the prayer to three different locations on the map twice, basically six separate transactions. Sounds easy enough, but wave-based enemies focus on attacking him while he prays, even when you're moving him to the next location. If his helps the police or you die before all the ways are done, you instantly lose and have to start over again. Two out. 
I've been recording for two hours just to do that, bro. Jesus Christ, bro. I had to start freezing that ass, bro. Improving your fighting skills. Oh my god, this shit was impossible. And I got bleeding thumb. This should be all yes. Trophy. Trophy of Gaia. Oh my god. Alright, we hit the 30 hour mark and we're just about to hit the 31 hour mark. I ain't even gonna lie, I'm so far behind. I'm on day two and I only got two games done. Things are not going my way right now with these games. A lot harder than I thought they was gonna be on the hardest difficulty, but Hey, we're gonna keep on trucking and pray that we get a chance to finish, you know? I'm gonna go hop in the shower. I've been playing for a long time and I'm a musty boy. Ha! I'm laughing at myself right now, thinking I had enough time to actually shower during this challenge. All right, for game number two is God of War 2. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the B, not bad category. It does have a little bit better story than God of War 1, but at the end of the day, God of War 1 and God of War 2, they're almost the same game. I'm gonna get this game a B. <laughs> Then again, we were rudely interrupted by my sister. Electro was never one for manners. Your rage means nothing! They basically gave me that motherfucker. <laughs> Come for that ass, I will shoot not the foot. You're probably wondering why you're seeing God of War Ascension right now instead of God of War 3 Remastered. Well, that lets me know that you haven't been playing close enough attention. I said these words exactly previously. As a matter of fact, I really just wanted to compare God of War 3 Remastered to the newer titles just to see how well that game holds up on a day to day basis. So, yeah, whilst playing through the story, gaining as many trophies as possible, I thought to myself, I remember this game. But at the same time, I don't remember this game at all. I think I as a kid, I played about 30% of the story mode and quit because the controls were way too clunky and the excessive buzz fights creeped me out heavily. If I'm not mistaken, this is one of the few God of Wars that I never actually finished and hell, I didn't want to finish it as a kid. Andy, man, okay. You know what? Every fight scene felt weird and wrongly placed. I vaguely remember fighting elephants and gruesomely splitting their heads down the middle. Topic, the first few boss fights were insanely lackluster. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seemed like as if they stuck a giant bug on the tip of someone's wiener. Okay, let me stop bashing this game. There was one boss fight that I found to be very entertaining and slightly challenging as well. I will not allow you to continue. You will never prevail. We will see you dead. Die, Mark Warrior. <laughs> I 
mean, what truly made this game seem weird to me was the off-brand serial rage meter. In actual normal games, you basically get a get out of jail free card where your damage output is raised and you're invisible for a limited amount of time. But in this game, you get to stick an enemy with a small time bomb that barely does any damage. Even with the maxed out rage meter, you only get two. Maybe I'm being too harsh on this game, but I think that was absolutely trash. <laughs> You are not fit to be called a Spartan. I lost everything because of you. They were not there by chance, Kratos. from this madness! I've never been so happy to be done with a playthrough in my life. The only fire thing that this game had was chapter select, so I could go back and get any trophies I missed with ease. This helped me land a 1000 hit combo on an inanimate object. Damn, there was only one trophy left and then we could earn the platinum, rank this game, and move on to the next. <laughs> I ain't even know I was about to get it. I'm over here just chilling and shit. All right, I just got done with that game. We are 41 hours and 30 minutes. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Looking like I ain't gonna get this challenge done. These games are taking way longer than they normally would. I think this game actually take 10 hours and I end up spending like 11 or 12 on it because it's something always stupid going on. But uh, yeah, that game is done. We're gonna move on to the next step. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and rank God of War Ascension. In my true opinion, this game deserves an absolute D. The gameplay, clunky. The movement, clunky. The boss fights are weird and the people you fight in the game, like mini bosses, are weird as hell as well. I'm gonna rate this game a D. This is probably the only game that's gonna be this low on the tier list. <laughs> All right, quick intermission. This is what I need you to do right now. Add me on PlayStation 5. I absolutely add everyone that adds me. There's not a single free request on this PlayStation 5 because I literally add everyone. I hate to be one of those weird ass YouTubers that say add me and never add their people back. That shit is weird. We don't do that over here. Let's build a family over here. I can guarantee your favorite YouTuber will never add you back on their PlayStation 5. I will. Here's both God of Wars on the PSP. If you're wondering why I chose this format for both of these games, well, I honestly wanted to be the first person to platinum all eight God of Wars and be the first person to platinum two games on screen at the same time. I have full intention on raising the bar of platinum trophy videos. After you watch this video, your expectation for these type of videos will be so high, other creators will seem like frauds. You know what? Wait a minute. I kind of sound like a psycho controlling manipulative boyfriend. But that's all besides the point. Both of these games have to be played on the PS3 or PSP. I wish I went the extra mile and bought a PSP for this video to get the full experience for these games. Both of these games are amazing in their own type of way. 99% of you guys have never seen these games, so they don't really matter. Here's both platinum trophies. Let's move on to more important matters. Making her scream. Ooh, I was on them titties. Piece of cake. And platinum Let's trophy, go the baby. minor tricks. Oh, oh, platinum trophy, let's go, baby. Let's go, let's go. Oh, platinum trophy, baby. And I'm watching. So look, I put about 20 hours in for both of those games. Matter of fact, it ended up being like 19 and some change. I don't remember what hour time I was at last. If I seem super hyper, I've been spam drinking these damn McDonald coffees back to back to back. So I'm way hyper than I was in that last couple of clips, I'm pretty sure. Both of these games was about 10 hours a piece. Um, let's go ahead and rank them and move on to God of War 3 Remastered. All right, now for Ghost of Sparta and Chain of Olympus, I'm going to have to give both of these games a C. 
I would rank these games a little bit higher, maybe a B, if I played the games on PSP. I know you can't get trophies on that thing, but that would have made the video and the experience of the games much better. Only a few people will understand that. These games will get a C kinda bad. <laughs> Just to put it on very hard. This shit fun. <sighs> Mountain of Olympus. Oh my god. That shit was crazy. This is what I consider the best God of War game. Hands down, fight me. What the hell happened to them? 99.9% .9 of gamers are going to say Ragnarok is the best God of War to date, and I can understand that. Most of you were born in the year 2000, so you don't know any better. as soon as I got it. <laughs> Let me explain what I mean. The overall experience is mind blowing. The theatrics are magnificent. Zeus, your son has returned. I bring the destruction of Olympus! The voice acting is God tier. Actually having a Kratos that uses more than two words is all I'm looking for in a game. Wait, wait! I can tell you that to destroy Zeus, you must step into the flame to receive its power. You lie, Helios! Hephaestus told me the flame kills all who touch it. And you believe him? That freak has fallen from the graces of Olympus! That is exactly why I believe him. My death will not lead you to Zeus. That is where you are wrong. And don't even get me started on the boss fights. All right, so look, God of War 3 frame rate got messed up somewhere in the settings. I don't know. I didn't change anything. 2018 and Ragnarok are perfectly fine, but for some reason, here on out for God of War 3 Remastered, the frame rate is hot ass. I literally don't know why. It is what it is. You made it this far. You might as well continue watching. Back to the video. <laughs> trophies are cool as fuck. Like the one time I was poking on some dude's wife while he was literally next door. Now, I ask you again, Kratos. Will you stay? Ladies, man. 
<laughs> Kratos knocking him down every game. I'm running cheeks. And you know what? As soon as I got done running her cheeks, I turned around and ran my brother's cheeks as well. Ha! Perhaps he did allow me to kill the Nemean lion, but he made your name known amongst the people. A fierce warrior, a killer made a hero, a man made a god. But this time, brother, this time I will destroy you. All the candy eyes. Now that my initial playthrough was done and Zeus was defeated, yes, he is at Kratos, Kratos. Damn, he get that boy that left hand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Woo! Knock the coins out your purse, boy! I hope that's not the end of the fight, because if it was, you trash. It was finally time to move on to the COG before we did our second playthrough on the hardest difficulty, which I could have done at first. But as you can see, I simply just love this game and I wanted to enjoy it on my own. So very similar to the previous game, there's multiple hard challenges, but I'll only show one, the one which I couldn't complete in a timely manner to save my life. In the shortest amount of words, you must make all enemies fall off the edge or kill all the enemies before the 60 second timer runs out. Challenge. Man, it took me forever. Now pretty much everything was done. There was only one thing left to do. Play the game on very hard for the last playthrough where someone called me the N-word to earn my platinum trophy. Lazy mortal. It is. There it is, baby. Alright, so look, it literally starts storming while I was playing God of War 3 Remastered and it shut off all my lights. I actually lost the timer I was at. One full week is 168 hours. I already had 64 in game hours. God of War 3 Remastered actually took me 22 hours, or at least that's what it said on my PlayStation 5. I put those together, I'm left with 82 something hours. I'm gonna use whatever time I have left on screen to do God of War 2018 and God of War Ragnarok. Alright, so look, let's go ahead and rank God of War 3 Remastered. In my true opinion, this game is straight up S tier. The theatrics, the combat, the voice acting, the overall game is amazing to me. I wonder what other games are going to be up here. As of now, this is the only one. <laughs> As you can see now, we are officially on God of War 2018. I never played 2018 or Ragnarok. This is gonna be a straight up full experience for me. You know what? As a matter of fact, I just realized something. 99.9% .9 of people have never actually played the previous God of War. Most of y'all just started in 2018 and Ragnarok. That's funny. No, this difficulty cannot be changed big game. So a new game must be started to change the difficulty. Are you sure? If I'm not playing on Give Me God of War, then I'm not playing the game right. So yeah, as you can see in the previous clip, I just wanted to enjoy the game for the first time, which turned out to be an extremely hard pill to swallow. See, I didn't realize how bad this game mechanics were going to be, basically making the very first 10 minutes almost impossible to move forward upon. Oh, you didn't think that. Oh my god. Didn't even see. They gotta fix this camera shit, bro. This camera fucking me up. Oh my god. This camera fucking me off, man. After dying at least another 47 times to this very first boss fight, I decided to fiddle with my settings just a little bit and I truly started to bend him over my knee. Come on your head now. Take it when I turn that camera speed up, I'm on your ass! What? I'm dead. Oh no, this gotta be part of the game. Gotta be part of the game. There ain't no way. Tell me what I want. Pain stops real simple. Beat that bitch. Beat that bitch. Beat that bitch. Beat that motherfucker. I'm on your ass! Oh, he didn't, oh, no, he didn't fuck 
fucking German suplex to me. Very first trophy. <laughs> yeah, hey, I ain't even gonna lie, I've been playing like three hours for that one fucking trophy. And you know what comes next. I enjoyed every minute of the storyline, grabbing all free trophies that are pretty much unmissable. Feels like home. I'm finna fight that one dude too. Oh yeah, wait, I forgot to tell you, I overly celebrated for the very first Dark Angel boss that I beat. This took me a while and I was super happy to finally have him out the way. Oh my God, this is gonna taste so fucking good. <laughs> Oh my god, it don't taste, this tastes so good. No, I don't hear that shit. Step on his motherfucking head. Step on his head! After playing pretty much 60% of the game and being almost completely finished, I was finally blessed with my favorite and the best weapons to ever touch a God of War game. Is they talking about the Blaze of Chaos? Oh my God, please, for the love of God. Skip this shit, how you skip this shit, bro? Uh, come on, bro, none of my care nothing about this. Run, Kratos, run! Run, Kratos fist! Oh! Oh, I forgot I got fist, I can beat your ass. What you wanna do? I'll beat your ass. Wait till I get my blade. <laughs> OG in the building, baby. You cannot change. You will always be a monster. I know. But I am your, your monster, monster no, no longer. longer. Get this trash out of here. <laughs> Combo. One more time, cause y'all stay the still. OG combo. My yes, those blades will sound quite well. Ah! Now that the game was finished and we collected every trophy that existed without some type of boss fight connected to it, the day had came to fight against the damn Valkyrie Queen. And without going into an annoying long speech on how long it took me to beat only one of them, I'll just show you right now. Let's battle. Ready yourself. What is that? So Come on, get up, brother. That's a bad one hit. No! I can't, even, I can't stop. I can't stop it. No! Weapon out, bro. I need my long range weapon right there. Ah! You downloaded, sister. Oh! That's that shit I'm talking about, bro. Rolling. I know it seemed like I was weirdly struggling, and the Valkyries had me screaming like a little schoolgirl. Ah! But in actuality, once you download their combat skills or their moveset, these fights become one-sided, especially every Valkyrie in between the first and the last. Get her ass, dogs. You beat this game. You beat! You finally beat. You finally fucking beat. I'm gonna burn your ass with this stone! Don't let her kill me at the end, I'll be pissed. And lastly, there was only one boss stopping me from collecting the platinum trophy, and that was Sigrun. Supposedly, this is the hardest boss in the game, but I absolutely steamrolled her after like 30 minutes of practice. I think the three to four hours I wasted fighting the first Valkyrie made me immune to her skill set. I mean, in actuality, they're all the same. This was the hardest boss that turned out to be extremely easy.
Alright, All right, so look, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Give me God of War difficulty in God of War 2018. Took me 70 plus hours to platinum that game. I was previously at 84 hours and I wasted 70 hours on that game. There's literally no time left to do God of War Ragnarok. Now I'm at the situation where I don't know if I go ahead and play the game and cheat the challenge or do I just save that game for another video and end the challenge right here since I basically said I was going to end the challenge if I ran out of time i really don't know what to do let me know what you think i should have done down in the comment section below now let's rank god of war 2018 in my true opinion and i do mean in my true opinion i'm gonna give this game an a i know a lot of people would give this game an absolute s but i don't think it deserves an s it is very clunky when you first starting to play it. and even once you get rolling and get all your skills this game can't keep up with the buttons that you're pressing i felt like a lot of the times i press a button and the moves wouldn't come out as i said previously with the first god of war this game crawled so the other games could walk so i decided not to show any ragnarok gameplay and instead we can make a deal if you really like these hard and pointless challenges type hashtag raise the bar in the comment section and if this video gets 3.7 likes and 4.1 extra subscribers i will make a completely separate video for ragnarok sounds fair enough to me <laughs> Let's not forget this dude did call me the N-word.